uh, we come up with the Hindu analysis and uh, today is Monday 4th March and we are here with the Hindu analysis of 4th March. Am I audible? Am I audible? Uh, we come up. Okay. So let's start with uh, these two articles. The first one is Ministers Discuss 100 Day Agenda for Government After Polls. This we will be discussing. Then here is an article, Caesar of Cargo by India Unjustified Says Pakistan. So these two are important articles we will be discussing. So let's start with this one. Let's start. Karte. Ministers discuss 100 day agenda for government after poll. So if after election, if the, the current government again comes to power, so what will be their agenda for the next 100 days? This, what they, this is what they have discussed it in the recent meetings. So we have discussed the Council of Ministers, Matlab, Mantri Parishad, which includes the Prime Minister, uh, all the Cabinet Ministers, the Minister of State, Cabinet Minister, then Minister of State, etc. Right? Hana? So there are ministers say all were present and they discussed it, what we call it as Viksit Bharat 2047 agenda. Now, uh, I have told you, I mean, this we have discussed it earlier also, that uh, if you, uh, the India got independence in 1947, okay? So if you add 100 years, it becomes 2047, right? And I hope you are aware that currently India is actually a developing country, right? India is a developing nation and uh, PM Modi has given the target of 2047 that by 2047, we would become a developed nation, right? Okay. So this is the target, Viksit Bharat Matavaiki, developed India. So Viksit Bharat means you can translate in English as developed India by 2047. Okay. So that is what the idea is. Okay. So that was the prime focus and all. And so developed. So we need to become a developed nation by 2047, exactly 100 years after gaining independence from British rule. Anna. So what is the vision encompasses the Viksit Bharat the vision, the idea it encompasses economic growth, social progress, environmental sustainability, good governance, etc. Anna. So economic growth, you know that GDP growth and all social progress means uh, the society ka progress. Hona so how do you talk about social progress? So social progress may you can say that yes, inequality would be reduced. Anna. Concentration of wealth would be reduced, Anna, which is in fact mentioned in DPSP, we have discussed it. Then we can say there would be uh, discrimination would be lesser. Anna, less discrimination would be lesser on the basis of religion, race, caste, gender and all. Anna, more inclusive growth would be there. Inclusive growth means the growth uh, which is done in such a way so as to benefit each and every community, the poor, the doubt others, the scheduled caste, the weaker section, the minorities, the women, the physically disabled. Anna. So all those should also become a part of this uh, development process. That's the idea of social progress. Eh, then environment sustainability means we should be doing uh, in, uh, development in such a way so as to ensure that environment should not be damaged, right? Good governance and all. Eh, so these are the things being talked about. Now, Chuki, we are talking about Viksit Bharat or developed nation. Now, there are a lot of cases where actually uh, the, the, the concept of developed and developing nations are actually given by United Nations, International Monetary Fund, World Bank. So these are the organizations which actually declare, I mean, they have some parameter to declare a country as developed or developing. Like, for example, if you see yellow countries, are, these are developing. So the entire South America, then India, even China and Russia is also considered as developing nations. Okay. And then these are all developing. So developed mein is blue wala. So this is, here is US. This is Canada. Okay, so this is Europe. Anna. Uh, then you will find it here. This is Australia. Okay, then we have New Zealand. So these all are considered as then Japan and South Korea. Yaan pe South Korea is there. Yaan pe Japan is there. So the blue ones are actually considered as developed countries. Whereas the yellow one is developing country like India, China, Russia, thik hai? Mongolia. Kazakhstan, then the entire South America. Okay. Then a core concept, I hope we have discussed it a lot. That's called as Brandt line BOT. So they have also defined it. Uh, line That's called as Global North. And they are considered as developed. Whereas Global South is considered as developing. Okay. So just say. However, if you look so Russia is there calculating it in Global North. But here, Russia is developing. So there are some uh, difference of opinion. 
but by and large if you see uh, the, the the line uh, the countries which are south to this brand line are actually global south which are actually developing nations okay and the global north are developed nations we have discussed it in the past also these things Anna. so that is why you should be knowing about it now uh so Anna, so this you should be knowing it now if you're watching this class go in the description box there's a one-on-one -on -one counseling session is there so click on this link you will get this google form everyone should fill this google form you will get to know more about our courses now the next one is caesar of cargo by india and justified says pakistan so uh, the uh, pakistan condemns india's high handedness and caesar of commercial goods that was an article now what is the uh, what is the issue actually so according to pakistan it has said that uh, the seizure of dual use items bound from china to pakistan by indian authorities at mumbai airport in january the pakistan has condemned it as high handedness and all in seizure of commercial goods and disruption of free trade that is what the pakistan has said so pakistan has said that uh, an import of commercial lathe machine by a karachi based company was done from china from china you can say okay so a lathe machine hoti, i hope you are aware if you are aware uh, this lathe machine is used in actually manufacturing you know um, uh, just say um, this is uh, used in um, automobile industry motor industry so lathe machine use kiya jata hai. okay so pakistan ki ka kehna ye hai ki they were importing from china so uh, the china mein, uh, gkd italy is a manufacturing company which manufactures that computer numerical control machine okay and they were buying it from Shekwa Airport in China to Karachi. So this is Shekwa Airport in China. Okay. And this here is Pakistan. So somewhere here you will find Karachi. Okay. Okay. So basically, and uh, if you see it carefully, the ship was going. What is the name of the ship? So merchant vessel. This is the name of the vessel. Okay. Or the ship. Which was a Malta flagged vessel. And so it was actually... Uh, it must be going. I'm making a rough sketch. It, uh, I guess it would be going from somewhere ahead like this in this route. Anna. So it was supposed to stay in Mumbai and then from there go to Karachi. Something like that hoga, uh, ship ka route. So basically what happened was uh, that uh, this uh, in Mumbai actually Nava Sheva airport uh, port likha na. Deko, pe likha hoga. Nava Sheva port actually is you will find it in Mumbai on 22nd January. And this was actually seized. And uh, this is currently in Indian custody. Ye jo hai na, ye, this was actually uh, uh, has been seized by the government and uh, the Indian uh, uh, um, government. Na? So, aap dekh sakte ho, hai? so, but the Pakistan has said that it is actually for commercial use and not for any other means. Uh, I could not find in this article the uh, response of Indian government. So, let's wait. Ho sakta hai, maybe tomorrow we will get the response of government of India as, as well. Hai? Or what is the response of the ministry or the officials concerned? Uh, then only we will be discussing it in detail okay so let's wait for that what is india's response in this matter when the pakistan has put an allegation let's wait for the india's response okay okay uh ek aur first page my article the uh, calcutta high court just to resign tomorrow hints at joining politics ahead of lok sabha polls so uh, 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 uh his name is justice abhijit gangopadhyay and in fact he has been in the news in the last one or two years okay so one thing he was in the news was actually last month so he was having a dispute with a colleague judge okay so what happened was uh, justice gangopadhyay had some issues with justice soman sen of the same kolkata high court or calcutta high court now so the matter became so worse i mean that the supreme court took the suomoto cognizance of this matter suomoto means suomoto kya hota hai? Uh, to hear the petition to hear the case on its own Anna. Okay, without someone filing petition. It means that even if no one has filed a petition in the court, the judge will decide to hear the case on its own. So Supreme Court, uh, uh, the Chief Justice might have seen this in the news and it decided actually to hear the matter because it's an open conflict. The conflict between the two High Court judges came in open and uh, they pronounce i mean uh, they uh, actually uh, one judge accused another judge and openly so of course in this case the matter actually became came in the public and the supreme court was supposed to hear the matter and all okay now and the uh, uh, and, uh, 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 and the person who was actually in this i mean uh, this controversy one of the judge he has decided to 
रिजाइन एंड ज्वाइन द पॉलिटिक्स तो इसमें बहुत सारे डिबेट्स भी आते कि इज इट करेक्ट टू फॉर अ जज टू रिजाइन एंड ज्वाइन द पॉलिटिक्स सो ए लॉट ऑफ डिबेट इज देयर ठीक है सो सम पीपल से देर शुड बी अ कूलिंग ऑफ पीरियड जैसे ऐसा कहा जाता है ना कूलिंग ऑफ पीरियड Not, okay, if a judge retires, if a high court judge or a Supreme Court judge retires, there should be a gap of two years. That okay for the next two years, you are not supposed to join politics. You are not supposed to take any post given by the government to ensure neutrality. And so these are some of the debates that happen. That is it okay for a judge to uh, uh, I can say just after the retirement or just after resignation join party politics and all? Because ideally, uh, a judge is supposed to be. and uh, they are neutral in the public and all so these are some of the debates that happen okay okay so download our app uh, go to clat section and go to talk to our counselor you will get to know more about our courses and on 17th march at 11 am we will be conducting a scholarship test get you will get up to 90% off okay so if you qualify it you will get up to 90% off on all our paid batches so this is the paid batch we are launching it and also 380 plus hours of live session 300 plus recorded videos so if you have any query call on this number okay and this is a 2024 test series for other law entrance examination and all now let's move on to the editorial uh, one of the main editorial is mountains of plastic are choking the himalayan states now when we say himalayan states we are talking about which states so which actually like uttarakhand and uh, then jammu and kashmir then himachal pradesh sikkim arunachal pradesh right so these all are called as himalayan states like uh, i hope you are aware i mean this you should be knowing it here is himalaya so the states in himalayas na is uttarakhand ho gaya himachal jammu and kashmir na sikkim arunachal pradesh so these are the states being talked about specifically and a mountains of plastic now himalaya we have mountains there but yahan pe mountains of plastic ka kya mata hua yani अब देखो प्लास्टिक आप जमा करते जाओ जमा करते जाओ तो पहाड़ टाइप का बन जाए क्या नहीं सो दैट इज व्हाट इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट सो माउंटेन्स ऑफ प्लास्टिक मींस ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ गार्बेज ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ प्लास्टिक गार्बेज इज गेटिंग एकोमलेटेड इन दीज स्टेट्स नो व्हाई दिस इज अ सीरियस इशू एंड जस्ट आफ्टर फ्लड्स प्लास्टिक गार्बेज बिकमिंग अ थ्रेट इन हिमाचल सेज साइंटिस्ट एंड एज अ फ्लड्स आता है सो लॉट ऑफ एक्चुअली प्लास्टिक गार्बेज कम्स आउट एंड इट गेट्स एकोमलेटेड एंड ऑल नो व्हाई दिस इज अ सीरियस इशू देखो होता क्या है आई होप यू आर अवेयर फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री द पीपल जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर लिविंग इन दिल्ली यूपी बिहार मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान पीपल फ्रॉम हेयर एक्चुअली गो टू दीज प्लेसेस है ना टू उत्तराखंड हिमाचल जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सिक्किम अरुणाचल फॉर टूरिस्ट पर्पज है ना इनफैक्ट लॉट ऑफ टूरिस्ट फॉरन टूरिस्ट ऑल्सो कम्स है ना सो टू विजिट दीज प्लेसेज एंड ऑल ना सो बेसिकली ऑल दीज स्टेट आर एक्चुअली देयर इकोनॉमी इज क्वाइट डिपेंडेंट ऑन टूरिज्म राइट ठीक है एंड टूरिज्म क्रिएट्स अ लॉट ऑफ जॉब्स इन फैक्ट इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज लेबर इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री है ना वी नीड जॉब्स सो ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज वेरी गुड थिंग सो इंटायर एक्चुअली अ बिग सेक्शन ऑफ इकोनॉमी ऑफ हिमाचल उत्तराखंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर दीज आर एक्चुअली डिपेंडेंट ऑन टूरिस्ट सो इफ दे विल नॉट कम ऑफ कोर्स दे विल बी आई मीन दे विल बी ह्यूज इम्पैक्ट ऑन दर इकोनॉमी so of course the idea is not to deter the tourists the tourists should come in these places but we have to ensure that tourists should not be doing uh, again say should not cause pollution and and all and ya yeah, littering should not the tourists should not be doing uh, again say uh, throwing the plastics here and there iska ensure karna na because sometimes they come they throw plastics here and there idhar udhar phek diya usse kya nuksan ho raha so of course that is what we have to ensure theek hai so that is what the main uh, topic is the author is talking about hai na so plastic is ubiquitous ubiquitous matlab present everywhere present everywhere jo har jagah maujood maujood ho usko kehte hain ubiquitous hai na at the top of the highest mountains to the deepest trenches in the ocean jaga pahad ke top mein bhi theek hai and even if you see in the inside the water jo trench hota hai pani ke andar mein like you must have heard about mariana trench the deepest point in the world hai na almost 11.3 km so there also you will find plastic that is what the authors are saying you will find it even inside the human lungs and the placenta to lungs mein bhi hota hai aur placenta placenta where actually inside the child dekho jab when a child is inside the mother mother's womb so this is placenta which is connected with the child hai na to even yahan par bhi the passage that unites fetus to the mother that's called as placenta so here also you will find a plastic that is what the author is saying to kaha kaha par insaan ko मतलब प्लास्टिक आपको मिलेगा माइक्रो प्लास्टिक्स आर फॉर्म बाई डिग्रेडेशन एंड डिफ्रेगमेंटेशन ऑफ लार्ज प्लास्टिक पीसेस 
okay you will find it in himalayan mountains rivers lakes streams even in glaciers and all okay and snow melting ab dekho problem kya hai dekho the main problem is this dekho yahan pe bahut sare rivers nikalti agar yahan pe plastics hoga to ye plastic leke pura jayega hai na jaise ganga river goes like this hai na so if there is plastic in uttarakhand or in himachal so they will bring the waters hai na to jaise mali uttarakhand mein ganga starts from here hai na so if there is plastic here in glaciers it will melt and it will cause plastic pollution the rest of the ganga river hai na so that is what an issue is theek hai the indian himalayan region is a critical source of water in subcontinent feeding a number of major rivers including indus ganga brahmaputra rivers and all hai na ab dekho kya bata rahe hain ki so the important river so this is himalaya and this himalaya actually is responsible for a lot of rivers jaise ganga nikalti hai na so this is ganga then you will find yamuna here is actually brahmaputra theek hai here you will find indus river going like this right so all these river have origin from this himalayan region hai na so of course a lot of water is being provided in this region from himalayan rivers so if these himalayan rivers are affected with plastic pollution or any other pollution the entire ecology will get disturbed yes hai na so it's pure ecology impact karegi hai na so of course the entire region will get affected and of course uh the biodiversity will get impacted and all hai na so rapid and unplanned urbanization is also impacting hai na so unplanned urbanization so the cities are expanding uh without any planning without any planning for let's say sewage disposal and all hai na responsible for the plastic waste crisis in the indian human uh, indian himalayan region and all so these are the things the author is talking about theek okay? hai then uh, recently the author is saying that ngt has issued a notice to ministry of environment center pollution control board and himachal pradesh uh, state pollution control board deputy commissioner of lahol spiti is a district you will find it in himachal pradesh bordering china theek hai wahan pe milega and panchayat of koksar uh, on waste dumping in eco sensitive areas by tourist and commercial establishment so there is a news there is a news i think koksar you will find it in himachal uh, in lahol spiti where actually uh, waste were dumped By the tourist, so the tourist comes to घूमने के लिए of course uh, tourism is very important for the state of Himachal Pradesh because it is actually creates jobs, it creates jobs and all. But at the same time, the, uh, it is we have to ensure that tourists should not be throwing the plastics here and there or dumping uh, here and there, है ना? So that is what in fact NGT ने order uh, notice भी issue किया था in this regard. ठीक है, so these are the things being talked about in Assam at the Ramsar site of Deepor built the greater adjutant Stark have. been feasting on the plastic waste in the landfill instead of fish from and all to kab kya batare assam ka example de rahe deepor bill mein that uh, the uh, great uh, adjutant storks actually ye jo na plastic kha rahe hain na so that in fact in nambol is a river in manipur so the, the author is giving some examples ab sare example pe itna detail nahi jana hai but yes have a basic idea about it so they are giving some percentage facts and all then the author is talking about epr theek hai na ye important hai this is the author is talking about solid waste there are some rules which regulates the environment the plastic pollution and all like solid waste management rules plastic waste management rules and there is extended producer responsibility nowadays epr is very much in the news ye plastic management ke liye bhi aur e waste management ke liye bhi it has become uh, very much in the news because nowadays we are seeing a concept of e waste electronic waste also becoming serious thing uh, electronic waste like for example the old mobile phones the old laptops or old let's say any digital device which you are not using it you generally throw it but yes these are very dangerous as an electronic waste because it contains a lot of harmful substances and so e waste handling we need to handle it in a separate way we cannot throw the e waste along with the kitchen waste saath mein nahi phek sakte hain because of course they need to handle it more effectively and we have to handle the e waste in a more efficient manner तो ये कॉन्सेप्ट है देखो ईपीआर का प्लीज रीड इट पॉज द वीडियो एंड रीड अबाउट एक्सटेंडेड प्रोड्यूसर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इन सिंपल वे फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज अ मोबाइल फोन दिस इज जस्ट फॉर रिप्रेजेंटेशन पर्पस लेट्स से देयर इज अ कंपनी एक्स वाई जेड एंड दिस हैज मेड दिस मोबाइल फोन ओके सो लेट्स से यू बॉट इट आप गए आप खरीद लिया सो यू बॉट दिस फोन लेट्स से गिव एन एग्जांपल ऑफ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपी ओके सो जैसे आपने ट्वेंटी में बाई कर लिया now what will happen is let's say you may use it for 5 years i'm just giving an example and uh, in 2029 the mobile phone becomes quite old now you cannot use it because it has become quite old it is getting slowed and all or it has become almost useless i'm just giving an example theek ekdam pura kharab ho gaya 
Okay, this is just for example purpose. Now what people do is people generally throw it. Kaan? Throw it in the dustbin. Agar ek useless ho gaya to. No, do not do this. this. There has to be some policy where XYZ company should take it back. EPR hi kehta hai. Extended producer responsibility that the company which has originally made the mobile phone, it should make some provision. Let's say there should be a shop, there should be a replacement mechanism that, okay, if I buy a new one, you should take the old one. And a mobile lelo, agar kharab ho gaya, to bhi lelo, aap uska, usko dispose of kar dena. So that the responsibility of XYZ company is to ensure that when this becomes mobile, becomes useless, it should take it back from the customer and handle it or uh, actually utilize the transistors involved or let's say even if the means xyz company has the responsibility to ensure that this e-waste should be handled as per the law as per the rule because if the person who is having the mobile phone that uh, it becomes old then the person will throw it so this has to be done extended producer responsibility so that is what the idea is environmental policy approach in which a producer responsibility for a product is extended to the post customer stage of a product's life cycle right? so that is what is being talked about this is news mein, uh, extended producer responsibility comes in the news again and again Himachal Pradesh and Sikkim have special laws for banning the plastics so there is a separate law for it right? but still these things do happen Sikkim banned packaged mineral water used from January 2022 and was a fairly robust regulatory system okay so, but still things are actually, you know, even if there is a ban, ki baad, plastic so use kiya hi jata hai, you know, geographical neutrality of targets under the EPR could be countered if the higher cost of EPR optionalized if the mountain is given to its consideration. Okay, but not ETR, nahi jana, bas EPR ke baare pata hona chahi. That is what you should be knowing it. Now, there is a question for you. Which of the following is responsible for GDP estimation in India? CSO, NSO, NSSO, Niti Aayog. What is the right answer? Please answer it. Responsible for GDP estimation. Anyone? NSO, yes, Ramesh, you are right. National Statistical Office under MOSPI, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Uh, earlier, there was a body called as CSO. But CSO and NSSO got merged in 2019 and we have something called as NSO. Okay. So B is the right answer to this question. NSO, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Okay. Um, now, so there's an article, facts and statistics. GDP numbers bring cheer in election year but need more scrutiny. Okay. So we have seen some good news regarding GDP improvement or GDP growth. But we need some more scrutiny, some more research on it. Now, so uh, it is saying that the NSO's estimate of a robust 8.4 year year on year growth in the real gross domestic product in October, December quarter. Now, I have taught you in the paid classes the concept of FY, just FY24 we are in right now. This is Q3, this is October, December quarter, right? So, this is the editorial. Bhi tha na. So, defying all uh, estimates, India's economy grew by 8.4% in quarter of uh, Q3, FY24. Right? So I have explained what is Q1, Q2, Q3, what is FY24, FY24 means fiscal year 2023-24, and so it just starts from 1st April 2023, ends on 31st March 2024, I hope you are aware of that, okay, okay, yes, so that is what you should be knowing it, uh, some economists have uh, uh, had pressed to reconcile the sharp difference of well over 100 basis point between, okay, so this is what we quarter 3, 8.4 percent growth, hua. And the estimates for FY24 pegged at 7.6%. So overall, means in the entire one year, in the entire fiscal year of 23-24, the growth would be 7.6%. That is what it has been estimated. Because 31st March, the growth will come. We will get to know the entire. Right? So uh, this releases posits and all. Now, we don't know real GDP. Actually, inflation adjusted GDP is called as real GDP. So you don't know that. That is too much for you. Okay, okay so just have an idea. Right? That even as agriculture growth is expected to remain subdued. So agriculture growth utna nahi hua. Uh, it should be more and all. Anna. So these are the things they are they're talking about. Okay. Uh, then uh, FY24 GDP is seen uh, gaining from a low base effect. Low base effect means that last year growth came hua. Like for example, here is 100 rupees. Now I am just giving an example. And it has now increased to 120. 
so you will see a large jump growth will you will see a large because the last year the growth was not much usko low base effect bhi kehte hai na so that is what why uh, we have seen uh, such a huge growth and all hai na so factor behind upgrades in the current fiscal income estimate and all ab itna detail nahi jana aapko theek hai so they are talking about that because these gdp numbers gets changed so that is why you are not supposed to read each and everything facts batana chahiye that nso comes up with this data what is fiscal year what is quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 these concepts you have to understand जैसे मैंने बेसिस पॉइंट का कॉन्सेप्ट भी बताया व्हाट इज वन बेसिस पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच परसेंटेज ये भी मैंने बताया है पेड क्लासेस में एनीवन वन बेसिस पॉइंट इज हाउ मच परसेंट कोई बता सकता है सो वन बेसिस पॉइंट इज पॉइंट जीरो वन परसेंट है ना ओके द लॉन्ग रोड टू रिफॉर्मिंग इंडिया पोलिटिकल पार्टी सिस्टम सो दिस एन आर्टिकल ठीक है अबाउट दिस अब देखो इसमें क्या है द ऑथर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिसेंट एक्चुअली इलेक्शन है ना जैसे हिमाचल प्रदेश में इलेक्शन डिस्कालीफाइड बिकॉज एक्चुअली दे वोटेड क्रॉस वोटिंग है ना दैट वॉट हैपन वॉज की इन दिक्सटी एट मेंबर लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली सो फोर्टी कांग्रेस एम एल एज वेर देयर एंड ओनली ट्वेंटी फाइव बीजेपी एम एल एज वेर देयर बट स्टिल द बीजेपी कैंडिडेट वन इट वाई बिकॉज द सिक्स कांग्रेस एम एल ए वोटेड इन फेवर ऑफ बीजेपी एंड थ्री इंडिपेंडेंट कैंडिडेट ऑल्सो सो थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर हो गया and when the lottery happened the bjp candidate won it okay so these things we have discussed it hai na so then what happened was ki jab aisa ho gaya ki now 34 congress members are there 25 plus 3 plus 6 so ye bhi 34 ho gaya and there was a fear of government falling why because if you have 68 mlas you need at least you have to cross the half mark matlab 35 mlas chahiye and there were only 34 So what happened was the speaker of the legislative assembly disqualified these six MLAs on ground of defection. So now 62, 68 minus six हो गया, so it is for all practical purpose 62. So now uh, 62 का half cross करने के लिए uh, you need 31, 32 चाहिए, and this is done, you know, because the Congress has 34. So these things he is talking about, Mr. Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu is the Himachal CM. ठीक है, आप समझ गए ना? So 68 था अगर these six were disqualified by speaker, so now it is 62. MLAs and you need half cross majority, you know. So is half is thirty one, and you need thirty two MLAs to support uh, the government, and there are thirty four. So these things were in the news. And then again, the author is talking about the split in NCP and the split in Shiv Sena. Just say Shiv Sena was split. Hua tha, so it got split. So a Nath Shinde camp is now aligned with the BJP, and they are ruling it. And here is Shiv Sena camp led by uh, Mr. Uddhav Thakre. Okay, now as we dispute the final, it was decided that this Eknath Shinde and Shiv Sena is the real Shiv Sena. Similarly, when NCP got dispute, who was the Nationalist Congress Party got split between Sharad Pawar's party, who was the original founder of NCP, and Ajit Pawar, his nephew. And finally, the uh, uh, the election commission decided, uh, or the speaker decided that Ajit Pawar would be the final one. Na, Ajit, ah, election commission decided that Ajit Pawar's NCP is the real NCP, and so these are the things being talked about. Okay. Now there's a question. I have put the detail. Also, me, I want to know which party has what happened. But you should know these things because there is a question that has come. Which schedule talks about anti-defection law? And they ask it. This was inserted by which constitutional amendment? This is the question that is asked. Okay. Which schedule is anti-defection law? Anyone? This is very easy. Ten schedule. Anna. And this was brought by which constitutional amendment? Yes, Ramesh, you are right. So B is the right answer. In which constitutional amendment anti-defection law was passed? What is the right answer? The right answer is fifty second amendment, nineteen eighty five. So B is the right answer to this question, है ना? Okay. ठीक है तो एक इसी की वो बात करें अब देखो the author has talked about two things a concept of split and concept of merger. तो अब कॉन्सेप्ट और स्प्लिट नहीं होता सिर्फ मर्जर अलाउड है बट स्टिल देखो अब होता क्या जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल देर आर देर इज सिक्सटी एम एल एस ऑफ अ पॉलिटिकल पार्टी जैसे एक्स पार्टी है उसका साठ एम एल ए सो अर्लियर देर वॉज अ प्रोविजन दैट इफ देर इज सिक्सटी एम एल एस वन थर्ड इसका कितना होगा वन थर्ड एस ऑफ सिक्सटी इज ट्वेंटी सो इफ ट्वेंटी एम एल एस कैन कम आउट एंड मेक यर देर ओन फैक्शन ऐसा कर सकते थे अपना एक फैक्शन हिस्सा बना ले दे कॉल इट एज वाई पार्टी Okay, but not this provision is not allowed. The only provision which is allowed is two-third merger. Two-third merger का मतलब है जैसे X party is there and 60 MLAs are there. So इसका two-third कितना होगा? Two-third of 60 is 
so the 40 mla should come out and join some other political party let's say abc party this is allowed okay so the author is saying that uh, there's a split hua which is not recognized because the concept is deleted in 2003 but still if we see the ncp major split hua both are still recognized the shiv sena got split and both are still recognized however the concept of split is not allowed now only the merger is allowed means if a party let's say if a shiv sena got split one of the split which is should be a two-third mla should join the party let's say it should join the bjp and now so this is allowed so the split is not allowed that is what the author is focusing on okay then bloody thursday is right allies cannot avoid blame for situation in gaza i hope you are aware the war is happening and all so there is india this is israel this one is gaza okay a lot of bombings have happened and all so these things they are talking about recently and uh, 12 palestinians were killed and 700 injured in subsequent stampede okay uh the world food program has said uh, that it is worst level of child malnutrition in the world and it's heading towards a famine famine means where there is shortage of food and water okay so these are the things being talked about the hospital system is on the verge of collapse so these are the things being talked about over 30,000 people, most of them women and children have been killed so far and 70,000 have been wounded or injured. So these are the things being talked about. South Africa went to the ICJ uh, claiming it to be an apartheid. So Israel's apartheid must end, South Africa says, at ICJ hearing. So apartheid is a word specifically, and so it was started, uh, the concept started in South Africa means where actually there was extreme form of discrimination against blacks and Nelson Mandela fought against it okay yes so that was and all so the south africa went to the international court of justice not only that even the brazil president has said uh, that it is actually a holocaust brazil's lula lula the silva is the president of brazil it has said that israel's war on gaza is is holocaust holocaust was actually the genocide that was uh, hitler done hitler did on jews so there's a uh, news that i mean uh, there's an allegation that almost around 6 million jews were killed by hitler that is called as holocaust so lula de silva has said that it is actually uh, similar to the holocaust and in fact after that the brazil government has withdrawn the ambassador from israel in this matter and all so uh, here is uh, brazil and here is israel so they have decided to withdraw the ambassador because of these things and all right so these were the news and so the U.S. administration has repeatedly vetoed. Vetoed means blocked the resolution in U.N. Security Council for a ceasefire. Like you must have seen that U.S. vetoes. So Algeria initiated a resolution to immediate for immediate ceasefire in Gaza. That the war should immediately stop in Gaza. However, the U.S. US vetoed it. I have told you there are P5 member, members, the permanent five members of U.N. Security Council. If one vetoes it, the resolution will be blocked. And U.S. this time has decided to veto it. So that is what it was in the news. So these are the things being talked. A Women's Urban Employment Guarantee Act. Now, so there's a concept of uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. So this is for rural areas. And a job guarantee and a right to work. The concept of right to work is there that uh, in rural areas, at least 100 days of job guarantee is there. And a, under Narega. So the author is saying that there should be a concept of Women's Urban Employment Guarantee. This is Manrega in rural areas. Mein. So in urban areas, in city area, women should all be given. Especially she is talking about, the author is talking about women's employment guarantee. That in urban areas, the women should be also given. Similar to the idea of Manrega, this uh, guarantee. So these are the things being talked about. Kuch facts were mentioned here, I don't But you have to know that Manrega that Manrega provides, it was passed in the year 2005, 100 days of employment guarantee in rural areas. But be careful, this is only for manual unskilled worker. Okay. Passed in 2005. Okay. Yes. The next article is Shahbaz Sharif becomes Prime Minister of Pakistan for second time. You should know it. I hope you are aware. We have discussed again and again that recently the elections happened. And uh, actually the result. Uh, so PMLN, Pakistan, Muslim, Sikh, Nawaz and PPP have joined hand. And Nawaz Sharif's brother, Shahbaz Sharif will be the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Okay. So that is what it is. Uh, if you are watching this class, go to the description box. The link is given. One on one counseling session. Click on this. You will get to know more about our courses. And yes, these are some of our free courses, free sessions. 
सो डाउनलोड अवर ऐप गो टू क्लास सेक्शन टेंथ मार्च को सिक्स पी एम पे विल भी हैविंग ए सेशन विद निवेदिता मैम थर्टींथ मार्च को सिक्स पी एम पे विल भी हैविंग ए सेशन वर्कशॉप विद अल्पा मैम एंड ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मार्च ऑल्सो विल भी हैविंग ए सेशन सो दीज आर सम सेशन है ना आप देख सकते हो एंड यू कैन वॉच इट अकॉर्डिंगली सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अर चैनल फॉलो इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक टेलीग्राम एंड डाउनलोड द बाई जो एग्जाम्पल एप थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एवर नाइस डे